A new survey of British airline pilots finds more than half fell asleep while flying. Almost one in three said when they woke up, the other pilot had nodded off too. About half believe that fatigue is the biggest threat to flight safety. CBS News aviation and safety expert Sully Sullenberger says it's not just a British problem. Pilot fatigue is a worldwide problem that's very serious and it's underreported, largely because of fear and also the perception among pilots that reporting does no good, that the reports that have been submitted have not been effectively acted upon. Our travel editor, Peter Greenberg, is here now with this story. Peter, this is just what nervous Nelly flyers like exhibit A, yes. you need to hear. Yes. So does it happen a lot? It does, and what Sully was saying is actually true. It's a matter of the reporting of it. But it not, may not actually be illegal or wrong. The real question is, is it the workload in the cockpit? Because tra traditionally, pilots don't necessarily fly the planes as much as they monitor systems these days. Mm -hmm. But the second issue, which is much more important, is are they getting enough rest? But doesn't it say something that these British pilots self-reported it? They could have just kept it to themselves and not said to Well, anybody. they didn't just self-report it. They're angry because the European Union is about to relax the actual workload requirements of the pilots to make them even work longer hours. Mm -hmm. So that's why they, they're, they're going public with this. How dangerous is it to have pilots falling asleep on a plane? Well, the key here is is not that they're sleeping on the plane. It's a question of, about how much rest they're getting either before their flights or even more importantly between their flights. And the current rules have recently just been amended, but the current rules are that you have to have at least eight hours uh, between flying. Here's the problem. Pilots fall asleep between two and six o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. They fall asleep if they're not getting at least eight hours of uninterrupted sleep or if they're getting not enough sleep between those flights on a continuing number of days. Mm -hmm. What about having somebody who's a flight attendant come into the cockpit every 30 minutes and make sure everybody's awake? You know, funny, funny, you, should solution. Me funny you should mention that. I like that, Charlie. We had an incident a couple of years ago where the, the pilots really were not flying the plane where they were supposed to go, and if it wasn't for the, the flight attendant looking at that little map on the screen and realizing they'd overshot Minneapolis, they would have still be going. Yeah, so how dangerous, do you think the public is in danger, number one, and do you think that there will be changes? There are ASAP. already going to be changes. It goes back to the Colgan Air crash a couple yes, of years ago in upstate Buffalo, New York. Yeah. Where where the co-pilot basically couldn't even rest at all. She was commuting from Seattle yeah. on a deadheaded flight on FedEx and couldn't even sleep. So the bottom line is those rules are being changed and it's all about what we call uninterrupted sleep. Mm -hmm. Because the way the rule now works, it's based on where the plane gets to the gate. The clock starts ticking on eight hours. That's ridiculous because it may take the pilot another hour and a half to get to the hotel to sleep, another hour and a half to get back. That's not eight hours of sleep. That's four and a half hours of sleep. Peter Greenberg, thank you. You got it.